ジュンジーイトバーカーうぅぅバーカーチュンスデイ Hi, I am your friendly neighborhood DRC, and this is the third episode of Manga Tuesday. Back again. I'm going to shoot from the hip.、Uh, Manga Tuesday is tanking. My views are at an all time low, but that's not Manga Tuesday's fault. That's the fault of this time it is Splatoon's fault because it's a shitty game. Splatoon is basically just Call of Duty but with water pistols. So obviously, that's why the last episode of Manga Tuesday performed so poorly. Splatoon, more like gay. <laughs> So, this week I brought in the big guns, Junji Ito. Also, I'm switching up the format a bit of how I present Manga Tuesday to try and also help increase viewership, like a lot of jump cuts. I think that'll do good. Also, I have a new co host right over here. His name is AJ. He'll be co hosting Manga Tuesdays with me from now on. So, please say hi to AJ. Alright, so let's just cut all the bullshit, get down to brass tacks. Today, I'm here to review Junji Ito's Cat Diary. It is written by the god of horror manga himself, Junji Ito. As I'm sure you all already know, Junji Ito is indeed the god of horror manga. And I know this because any review or mentioning of any Junji Ito book. They always, the reviewer always tells you how much of a god of horror, how great at horror Junji Ito is, how he's the greatest at horror manga. And it's not like Junji Ito is the only horror mangaka that those people could actually name. They could easily do a top 50 of the top mangaka horror writers in Japan. Easily. I forgot to put my top hat on before I started, after the intro, and I was also going to put pegs in my beard, but I guess it's a bit late for that now. Look, it even says it on the back Master, Master of Japanese horror manga. That's what the popular opinion seems to be, but you know me, the innovator, the originator, I do not let the popular opinion sway my opinion. So, just to screw it to all the normies, my opinion is. Junji Ito sucks. First of all, what kind of egomaniac puts themselves in their own book? Probably the same kind of egomaniac that would refer to themselves as the god of manga.、Oh, this pig hurts. Here's a little known fact for you Junji Ito labelled himself the god of horror manga. And I quote Listen here, you little otaku piss ants. A summer dumma lama hummer, you assuming I'm a human, what I gotta do to get it through to you, I'm superhuman. I'm paraphrasing, he、uh, said a little faster. So that's my review of Junji Ito the man. I give him a negative 2 out of 10. As for the book, I haven't actually read this one yet.、Uh, I just picked it up pretty recently.、Uh, I still don't know why I haven't read it yet though, it's like really, really thin. I could read that in like 10 minutes. And there's another negative. Learn to write a longer story, bitch. This is pathetically thin. I have read some Junji Ito. I've read、uh, Shiva by Junji Ito, a selection of short stories. There we go again. Short stories. Why don't you learn to write something a little longer, Junji Ito, you little bitch? That being said, I did really enjoy Shiva. It was pretty great. It was really good. Probably the best horror thing I've read. Uh, of any genre. I mean, this guy, this guy's a genius or something. He should be labeled like the fucking the king of creepy or, you know, something along those lines. Shiver, 10 out of 10. So that pretty much sums things up. Please, if you have any recommendations for what you would like me to review next on Manga Tuesday, leave the suggestions in the comment section below and I will almost certainly review it if you'd make a suggestion. Not next week though. Next week I got something special planned. I'm going to be reviewing my favourite manga of all time. And by next week I mean two weeks from now, probably. I'm not sure. It could be next week. I don't know. Wait and see. But anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, this is a can of deodorant. And this is 
one last pathetic attempt to try and boost viewership. That's just another Tuesday. Car driving past slowly. Can't see.